Wow, this looks like a beautiful house to renovate. Fixer uppers got nothing on the cranes. Yes, a perfect place to raise a family for the time being. I have a bad feeling about this place. Classic middle child always complaining about everything and wasting my time. I mean, I'm sorry sweetie. I have to go check on my other children. I need to get some gloves for real. I hate feeling things with my bare hands. Flash on trauma tiles is a no-go. I also just hate feeling things in general. I'm too young for the spooky spooks. Mommy, help me. What's wrong, sweetheart? I've seen a ghost, and I'm scared. Please can we move? No, it's just your imagination. You'll be fine. I'm not fine. Go to sleep. Why does no one ever believe me? I'm going through storage, and I found this cool hat. Do you want it? Ooh, that's awesome. Yes! New, no, my hat. I want the hat, boy. You already have one though? Give me it. I want it. Sorry, but can you stop ruining my childhood? You're going to regret this. I found some diseased cats in a barn, and I can't wait to nurse them back to health. There is one for each of us kids. Why are they all so stiff looking? Are they taking a nap or something? OMG new. My cats are dead, and my dreams are crushed. Hey, Dad. Do you need any help working on renovations so that we can move out of this wacky house sooner? Wow, what a helpful boy. We stand. And when I say wacky, I'm only sympathizing with my siblings. They think that there are ghosts haunting us. But that's crazy, right? Ghosts aren't real. Uh, ha ha ha. Yes. Of course ghosts aren't real. Why would you even say that? This is a great house. Lies. This house is haunted, and we're all going to have trauma. Haha, ha, Theo, don't be so silly. Why don't you go somewhere else? Okay, so maybe Theo is right. I'm getting some bad vibes from this house. Oh no. Maybe we should pack up and get TF out of here. Too late. I'm already crazy, and you're next. What? What have you done? Mom tried to poison me and Mel, and she killed my strange little friend. Why couldn't she have gotten rid of my weird Hatman stalker instead? Mummy's gone mad, hasn't she? Um, WTF, honey? Ah. Uh... Ah, uh, okay, kids, it's time to run. So much for this HGTV project. And my marriage. I don't believe in ghosts. Let the record show that. But I do believe in making a profit from a bad situation. Do I seem cold and aloof as an adult, especially in contrast to my happy, helpful persona as a young boy? Maybe. But that doesn't stop me from being a best-selling author and having a ton of fans. Too bad my family hates me though. Well, mostly just Shirley I guess. I could not make sense of life, so I focus on death now. Funeral home director goals. Just kidding. I'm still deeply upset about the awful events that transpired in my childhood, and I don't think that I'll ever get past them. But, what are you going to do, right? I guess just dress dead things up in nice clothes and pretend that things are better than they are. But that's still a better way of living than having heart walls so thick you can see them from a space station. Sup, girl? Do you want to do me as much as I want to do you? Why do I attract so many bad things in my life? It must be because I'm honestly and indisputably the best, and opposites attract. Hi. Well, this is a vast improvement. Okay, so can we talk about our feelings? That's disgusting. Girl, come on. Let me penetrate those walls. They be thick. I'm a lesbian for a reason. Now go away. Why? I'm an empath, and I sense that you have more baggage than is allowed on this ride. That's not very empathetic of you. I didn't say I was empathetic. I'm an empath. That's pathetic. No offense. I didn't choose this life. But fine. I'll hit you up when I'm sad. Okay. 
Your love is my drug. I couldn't get high on life, so now I get high on drugs. I used to be the cutest kid, and now I've turned into... into... into this. I'm such a disappointment. You sure are. I already apologized for wearing your stupid hat. Why can't you just leave me alone? I wish Nell were here. I mean, not like in rehab, but just with me. Life is a never-ending series of failure, misery, and heartbreak. I've lost my mother, my husband, my mind. I'm a ghost of a girl that I want to be most. I'm the shell of a girl that I used to know well. I think you're letting your past have too much control over you. I suggest that you go back to Hale House and confront your inner demons. It's just the carcass in the woods. What's the worst that could happen? Just driving to my scary old childhood home. This will be fine. It's just a carcass in the woods. It's just a carcass in the woods. I can do this. Yes, sweetheart. You can. Mommy, is that you? Yes, sweetheart. I love you so much. I love you too. Come dance with me. Arthur, I miss you so much. So come be with me. See, honey? This is what you want. To be reunited with your loved ones. I'm here to welcome you home. I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Mostly the destroyer of my world. Oh how I have unknowingly wreaked havoc on my past life, invoking terror and the dark shroud of the unknown. Hi, Daddy. No, my baby. This house stole my wife and now my baby. I have to get our family back together before it becomes even more torn apart. But who will I call first? Ghostbusters. No. Dad just called. Nell is dead. No. How could this have happened? I'm a psychic with a PhD in psychology, yet this still baffles my mind. I try and I try, and I never seem to unravel the mysteries of human behavior. Is it just because I'm so strong that it's hard for me to understand the concept of a breaking point? This probably won't be too good for your recovery, but Dad just called to let me know that Nell is dead. One thing after another, man. Life is depressing. True. The gang's all back together. I hate this house. Blood money. Blood money. You traitor. Sorry. Nell was the only one who believed in me. I'm going in. Wait! Luke, no. Luke. Oh, Nell. Come home to us, Luke. Mom. Come home to us, Stephen. How are you here? Come home to us, Shirley. Do you have an original message for your least favorite and most overlooked child or is it just going to be more of the same? Come home to us, Theo. No. Classic middle child. Take me instead. Leave the kids out of this. A little late for that, Daddy. Okay. Now we can be together forever. I still want the rest of my kids though. Honey, no. And people wonder why I have heart walls. Goddamn. This night definitely served as some inspiration for more book material. Excuse you? This is all so messed up. No, really. There's a tragic beauty to all of this. Our intended trauma leads to an abundance of walls of our design. We become trapped in a house of grief full of empty rooms, shut doors, and hallways that lead to nowhere. We look for ways out of this miserable labyrinth through desperate means of escape. Glad to hear that you've got your prologue all figured out. We need each other, surely. All of us do. We're all that we have left. The only positive tie that comes out of our shared grief is each other. So, where do we go from here? Preferably away from this carcass in the woods. We go forward. We look back, but we don't let it stop us from moving on. I'm tired of being haunted by ghosts. 
I can get on board with that. I don't want to be entrapped in this grief. Well, here's to decoding the labyrinth. <laughs>